knowledge. Um, we're going to spend half a session or so on open innovation, so I won't anticipate that too much. But basically, the headline, for, so you don't have to come to that session, the headline of that session is that these things interact in strange ways. So it's not, the argument is with open innovation, not just simply to look externally and search for external sources. And conversely, the answer is not to invest entirely in internal knowledge. But the challenge is how they interact. Yeah, so certain types of internal know-how will help you to search, yeah, will help you to interpret and identify external sources, and then to recombine them with the internal know-how. So it's a matter of how do they interact, in which ways do they interact, rather than, you know, is external knowledge good, is it better or different to internal knowledge? It's how the two interact. So certain types of internal know-how allow you to search better, yeah. allow you to identify and interpret and therefore adapt and recombine external know-how. And it's trying to understand those, those interactions which we'll spend that session on. And this is a bit of work we did a few years ago. Just saying two things, is that there's an interaction here. The EINT is a variable that measures a ratio of internal to external not know-how. Don't worry about how it does it unless you look at the paper. Okay, so it's a way of trying to say how much is internal and external, left to right. Um, and the, the different colour graphs are basically saying how knowledge intensive are the different firms. And again, there's a metrics way to try to manage that. So the basic argument of that piece of work is twofold. is that the internal and external is one of optimization or calibration. It's not one or the other. They interact. And the other thing is, if you like, how sensitive is that depends on how knowledge intensive the company is. Okay? We'll return to these things when we look at open innovation. But it's an interesting